What if Qui-Gon Jinn survived the fight with Darth Maul rather than Obi-Wan Kenobi? Well, this is exactly what I think would happen. During the fight with Darth Maul, obviously, we know what happens. Qui-Gon Jinn is killed, Obi-Wan lives, and moves on to train Anakin because of Qui-Gon's wishes. Qui-Gon firmly believed Anakin Skywalker was the chosen one. I think the song that plays during this fight actually gives us an indication of what would have happened if he actually survived. You might be asking yourself, well, what is the significance of Duel of the Fates? Everybody knows this song. But really, you should be asking, why is it named Duel of the Fates? As many people already know, audio and sound design make or break a movie slash video, anything that you're going to watch. The song Duel of the Fates plays in this moment because the fate that's being decided is Anakin's. With the way things went in canon, we know he falls to the dark side, he becomes Darth Vader, yada yada yada. But what if he didn't? I think there are some major implications of if Qui-Gon Jinn actually trained Anakin and he survived that fight. One of those being Anakin does not fall to the dark side. In the canon novel Paddle One, it follows Obi-Wan Kenobi as he disobeys Qui-Gon Jinn's wishes, but there's a reason why he does. Towards the beginning of this novel, Qui-Gon Jinn is actually offered a position on the council, meaning he would have to leave behind his Padawan who would then be transferred to someone else. Obi-Wan hears about this and this is what leads to the events of the book. It's also what ultimately leads to the death of Qui-Gon Jinn. The entire reason I bring up this book is because what Qui-Gon Jinn tells Obi-Wan when he gets back from his undisclosed mission. Qui-Gon Jinn is not upset with Obi-Wan. He actually quite enjoys the fact that Obi-Wan disobeyed his commands because Qui-Gon Jinn isn't exactly known for obeying the council's commands. And this is something that I think Anakin would have absolutely loved in a master. Obi-Wan was a very much by the book Jedi that he needed to follow all the rules and listen to every command that the council passed down, no matter what it was. Anakin on the other hand, disagreed with the council. Let's, let's just put it lightly. And no, not just because he wanted to be a master. I think under Qui-Gon's teaching, Anakin would have learned ways to disobey the council, but also have it make sense for them. Another major point in the story of Star Wars that I think would have changed drastically is Count Dooku. If you remember correctly in Tales of the Jedi, it follows Dooku for half the season, basically showing his fall to the dark side. And the largest contributing factor to that was the death of Qui-Gon Jinn. This is why he doesn't really do a whole lot to kill Jedi until after his death. If Qui-Gon Jinn would have been alive and training Anakin, I think he could have sensed a lot of things in his former master and really brought him back to the light side. I don't necessarily think he would have rejoined the Jedi, but I don't think he would have done what he did. Count Dooku absolutely loved Qui-Gon Jinn. When Qui-Gon Jinn passed away, he was broken. Going back to the Padawan book, there's even a point where Count Dooku visits the Jedi Temple and Obi-Wan thinks Qui-Gon Jinn is going to leave with him. And because I don't think Count Dooku would have fallen to the dark side, I think Darth Sidious would have lost. Qui-Gon Jinn training Anakin Skywalker would have led to the downfall of Darth Sidious maybe even because Count Dooku tells them the true identity. At that point, a little bit older Anakin Skywalker and Qui-Gon Jinn would have confronted Emperor Palpatine and arrested him. This would have completely stopped basically everything that unfolds in Star Wars. Qui-Gon Jinn would have taught Anakin to actually deal with his emotions rather than suppressing them like a lot of the Jedi do. He probably also would have still married Padme and had children, which he would be raising as their father and Padme's husband. I don't think Qui-Gon Jinn would have had any issue with any of that happening as long as Anakin learned to control his motions, which I think he would have. Once Darth Sidious was taken care of, Anakin was happy with his family, I think Qui-Gon Jinn finally would have accepted that position on the Jedi Council, eventually becoming the Grand Master. Together, Qui-Gon Jinn and Anakin Skywalker would have shaped what the Jedi should have always been. One of the biggest issues that the Jedi had was they tried to really not be human and feel a lot of the emotion that people do. Qui-Gon Jinn would have been so in tune with the Force at this point also passing that down to his Padawan Anakin, Anakin would have been unbelievably powerful. Where I think it goes from there, I think we should get another Duel of the Fates soundtrack going as Anakin fights for his son Luke's life. Well, I hate to do it to you, but I'm going to leave it there. Maybe I'll do a part two. It depends how well this does. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and share it with everybody you know. Subscribe for a lot more Star Wars content because I absolutely love doing this. I appreciate you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. May the Force be with you.